How's it going guys? I'm Shifty Cow, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Rainbow Six Siege Season Pass and just kind of talking about whether or not it's worth it and just some things that they could do to improve it and make it a better value. So before we hop into it, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and by doing that you could be entered into our special contest where you could win a very sensual night with Devil Dog. But anyways guys, let's get into the video. So the first thing is the price point. It's about $30 in the US, it really depends on where you live, but here in the US it's 30 bucks and it includes a decent amount of things. First of all, you're getting five or I believe six exclusive skins, but they haven't had the sixth one come out yet. So that's the gold, tiger, leopard, zebra, and snake skin, I believe. And I only use about three of these, the gold, tiger, and the zebra look pretty cool, so I use those. The rest of them, I don't really touch all that much, but that's something that I think you can buy for about five bucks. Uh, in terms of like digital content, you can get that as a bundle for five dollars. So that's, you know, obviously five dollars. And then if we move on to exclusive operator access, that's something that you can't buy standalone, so it's kind of tough to assign a value to it. But basically, you're going to get all the operators a week early, and you don't have to buy them with Renowned, which usually would be 25,000 Renowned, and that's going to take up a lot of time to kind of grind all that, or just, you know, not being able to buy a lot of camos. So I would say that's worth anywhere from 5 to even like $15, depending on who you're talking to, because a lot of people don't have all that time to grind out 25,000 Renowned just to buy an operator, and so it kind of just makes it easier for them to just pick them up plus you get them a week early and you get both of them for free so then you can just spend all your renowned on like attachments or camos or really just whatever you want to buy because they have been going ham making new camos and things like that so that's kind of where it gets kind of tough deciding if you actually think it's worth it if it's worth it for you i would say this is probably the biggest part of actually buying the season pass so moving on, you also get a permanent 5% Renown boost, and admittedly, this really is so small it doesn't make that much of a difference when you're actually playing, so it's definitely something that kinda helps, but really, I don't think it should be anything higher than like 10 or maybe 15%, just because then you could get so much Renown that you really would not know what to do with it if you actually play this game a lot. You would just have so much Renown, and you'd have all the camos, all the attachments, and you wouldn't know what to buy with it, so you just can't buy anything more, and I think that's the reason why they didn't make it, you know, a little bit higher than 5%, which I'm okay with, but it's not something to really brag about if you're selling something for $30. So they also allow you to get two extra slots for your challenges, and while I thought this would be pretty cool, it's actually kind of bum, because the way it works is you have three challenges originally, and that resets every day, every other day, and then every 72 hours, so it's 24, 48, 72 hours, and what I thought would happen is the two extra slots would open up and they would be like the 24 hour ones. So I could get like a lot of challenges, make a ton of renowned, but instead it's 24, 48, 72, and then like 90, whatever. And it just kind of goes up from there. So you're actually going to still be waiting a decent amount of time to get all your challenges. And while you are going to make a little bit more renowned if you do these challenges every single day, it's not going to make that much of a difference and you really have to do, you know, a lot of waiting to actually get that extra RP boost. So finally, they also give you 500 Rainbow Six credits and these can be used to buy any of the premium camos that usually cost money. And the problem I have with this is it's only 500 credits. If you've ever looked at any of the premium skins, most of them cost 720 credits. So you actually have to pay for more credits to buy a full camo with your season pass credits. And that just seems kind of ridiculous. There are a couple discounts that you can pick up on, but only 500 credits just seems kind of stingy. At least in my opinion, I think you should be getting like 1440 credits just so you can actually buy like two full camos or you could buy like three discount camos, the ones that are kind of a little bit cheaper. That would be kind of cool. And if you think about it, it's not like they're having to package each of these skins. Like once they're done, they're done. It's just data. It can be transferred to your computer. And if they were really that concerned with making money off skins, there's still plenty of other premium skins. So just buying two camos isn't really costing them all that much money. It's $5 to buy a full skin. That would be $10 to buy a bigger skin. So really it's a $10 value for the consumer and they're not really losing any money because it's really just data and that's kind of part of the value. So that's where I have a problem with that they only give you 500 credits and I think that kind of could really help it if they did bump it up a little bit more so you could actually buy a premium skin rather than buying one of the cheaper ones. But anyways, that's pretty much everything that's included in the Season Pass, and for me, that's kind of worth it. The biggest problem that I come across 
is that it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot coming. And the main reason that I think I bought it personally was really just to support this type of system. Because if everyone's getting the free maps and the free operators that you can unlock, but it's a little bit harder, I would say most of that is just to actually support the developers because I really like this system versus something where you actually have to pay for all the new maps and all the new guns and all the new things like that. So I think I bought a decent amount of it just to actually support them. And then obviously the skins because I fucking love skins. But anyways, I think they could definitely do some things to upgrade the system. Maybe give you a little bit more Rainbow Six credits so it's actually kind of worth it. Maybe they could do some special events. Maybe they could do just a bunch of different things that they could get a little bit more creative with than a 5% XP boost. And I think they would be way better off and just get a lot better reviews than they've been getting for this season pass system. So anyways, guys, leave your comments down in the comment section below. What do you think about the Rainbow Six season pass? Is it worth it? Not worth it? Do you have it? Are you just kind of, you know, why are they doing this type of system? But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe. We will have another highlights video in a couple of days out, so be looking forward to that. But anyways, guys, until next time, stay buttery. Oh,